I told you the devil would come tonight because we have unleashed him. We've unleashed him from hell because the church has got to be on the offensive. There are things in hell that we need to get to, but we can't get there with him standing at the door. I said we can't get there with him standing at the door. And while the enemy is lurking about, and we've unlocked him, he's looking for who is not on the offensive. And that's why as pastor tonight, I know we're going against the devil like we've never done it before. We're attacking areas that he has seen as his for a long time. I'm telling us, church, that if all of us do not get on the offensive, then we will be enlarged into hell herself. (laughs) Satan's final plan is that we do nothing. But devil, we've come to tell you tonight... We have come to tell you what you got to say. It's time for the battle. You've had hold of this city long enough. You've had a hold of these families long enough. There are souls that are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost because we're coming no. against you. No. I said no. in the name of Jesus, no. we're coming no. against you. No. No. We're going to fight no. like we've never fought before. No. You won't win. You won't win. But let me tell you this. Church, me as the pastor cannot be the only one to fight the devil. I cannot win because it'll be like an arm wrestle against the enemy. I cannot fight your battles at home. I cannot fight your battles on the job. But I've come to preach to us tonight that Satan's final solution, it requires us to sit by and just let the pastor do all the work. It requires us to sit by and let the leadership do all the work. But I believe there's a church in this house that wants to stand against the enemy and say we're not going to bow to you. Oh, come on, somebody. We're not going to bow. We're not going to give in. We're going to fight to the end. The battle's on, man. Brother Davis, Brother David, I want you to get those chains. We've come to bind you tonight. The Word of God told us in Matthew chapter 16 and 19, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. No way. No way. And I've come to preach tonight that if we don't bind it now, we can't bind it tomorrow. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Don't wait till tomorrow to bind him because we've got souls that we got to reach right now. Come on, you got tomorrow. You can wait. Bring him over here. Leave me alone. Hey, leave me alone. Hmm. I want you to stand Hmm. where I have stood. No. Put the chains on him. Time to the pulpit. I want you to stand where no. I have stood. No. And I want you to no. see from the view that I have watched as no. you have stolen things from our families. No. I want to no. see, I want him to see the view that we see as he's stolen the joy from those that used to be full no. of the Holy Ghost. No. Right? No. And so now that you are tied to the pulpit. The things that you have stolen, mm. you're going to see restored you can't from the help. view that you I watched them be destroyed. Help. Yes. You can't have it. With the devil bound, that same verse, if you put that back up there, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19, the same verse mm. talks about whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed. In heaven. I told you that there were souls that were in hell. That once we use the key and we open the door, we can't just let the devil loose. We've got to get those people that are tied. Those that feel like there's no way out. Those that cannot get out on their self because they have been bound by the enemy. By the God of this world, they bound them 
And as they cry out, they're crying to a church that says, will somebody come? Will somebody, will somebody help me? Will somebody deliver me? Will somebody bring me out? And once they're loose, they're able to obey the word when it says rejoice, when it says to praise. The heart that was created to praise is the heart they can now praise. But I ask us today, are we satisfied with just one soul? Are we satisfied with just one victory? Because there's other souls in hell that need to be won. This man represents the homeless. Those that don't have a place to lay at night. As I drove through downtown Cincinnati, I was commenting about how trashy it was underneath the bridge. And some of our young people saw that there was a bed there where somebody had not done their house cleaning. There are people that sleep out by the tracks every night. There are those that they don't have a home. There are those that are hungry physically. And there are those, those same people that are hungry spiritually. Still right there. They're hungry spiritually. There are still people crying out for help. There are still those that we've got to go into the fire Leave and bring them out. No. No. There are those that have been in the fire that we've got to bring out. No. This young man here lives on, he was come and he was raised on a church pew. He was not going to go to hell, but somehow from a church pew, he went to hell. See the tie? He looks the part. See the slacks? See the shoes? He looks like us. But somehow, somewhere, he was lost in the house. There was a coin that was lost. We didn't sweep the house. We couldn't find it. And he ended lost. But there are souls that are in this condition that we can lose. The Bible says that you can loose things on earth and they can be loose in heaven. We can experience victory. You can be a prodigal and you can return. Can we thank God today? Lord, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. One last soul. No. This one the enemy worked on for a long time. He was addicted to drugs. He was addicted to alcohol. The enemy thought he had him bound up in so many ways. But there's one similar thing to all of these garments is they are ripped. They are torn. There are signs of struggle. They did everything that they could. They fought him by themselves, but they couldn't win. Can I tell you tonight, we cannot allow not only our young people. I used young men tonight because I didn't want to hurt an older person. But there are older people that are dying lost in this city. There are older people that need to be refilled with the Holy Ghost again in this church. No, no. Right. There are those that are struggling with addictions. There are those in our town that need to be set free. But it's through the church and through the revelation of who Jesus is. It's through who we are as people of the name. The Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'm going to heal I'm going to heal their land. I'll forgive their sin. Come on, somebody. There are people that need to be loosed. There are people that need to be set free. Hallelujah. 
How do you like that, devil? We stole them out of your hole. You didn't get them out of the church for long. We stole them back because we're a church that's not on the defensive. We're a church that's on the offensive. We're going to no. claim back that. No. 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 We're going to get back that which the devil stole from us. There's one last thing that's got to happen. The Bible says that when Jesus comes back to whoop the devil the last time, he's not going to come alone. Right. He's not going to come as a stranger. Right. He's not going to come as a baby in a manger this time. No. He's going to be riding no. as King of Kings. No. He's going to be riding no. as yes. Lord of Lords. Right. No. But greater than that, the Bible said greater is he that is in you, no. that is in the world. No. He said when, we, when he comes back to conquer this devil once and for all, we're not just fighting him now, but we're going to come back with him and we're going to bind him the last time. That's it. No. no. Yeah. That's it. Come on, somebody. We're going to bind him the last That's time. It. Yes. There's going to be ultimate victory. There's not going to be defeat. But there's going to be victory. And the Bible says that Jesus is going to get a hold of the devil. And he's going to throw him into hell one more time. He's going to shut the door. He's going to throw away the keys. Because there's no use for the keys any longer. We are Victoria. Come on, stand with me in this house tonight. We need to claim some things back. If the devil stole your joy, the salvation of the Lord is your answer. If the devil's stolen things out of your home, tonight you can claim it back. Oh, come on, somebody. That depression's got to go. Victory is on its way. Come on, that lost son or daughter, they're on their way. Because we've opened up hell and we've stormed in. We're on the offensive.